33 day preparation for total consecration to Jesus through Mary. From the book True Devotion to Mary by St. Louis de Montfort. Initial 12 day preparation, emptying yourself of the spirit of the world. Practices to be adopted during this period. Examine your conscience, pray, practice renouncement of your own will, mortification, purity of heart. This purity is the indispensable condition for contemplating God in heaven, to see him on earth and to know him by the light of faith. The first part of the preparation should be employed in casting off the spirit of the world, which is contrary to that of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the world consists essentially in the denial of the supreme dominion of God, a denial which is manifested in practice by sin and disobedience. Thus it is principally opposed to the spirit of Christ, which is also that of Mary. It manifests itself by the concupiscence of the flesh, by the concupiscence of the eyes and the pride of life, by disobedience to God's laws and the abuse of created things. Its works are sin in all its forms, and all else by which the devil leads to sins, work which bring errors and darkness to the mind and seduction and corruption to the will. Its pomps are the splendor and the charms employed by the devil to render sin alluring in persons, places, and things. Day 6 Today's reading from The Imitation of Christ, Book 1, Chapter 18, On the Example of the Holy Fathers. Look upon the lively examples of the Holy Fathers in whom shone real perfection in the religious life, and you will see how little it is and almost nothing that we do. Alas, what is our life when we compare it with theirs? Saints and friends of Christ, they serve our Lord in hunger and in thirst and in cold, in nakedness, in labor, in weariness, in watching, in fasting, prayers and holy meditations, and in fe frequent persecutions and reproaches. Oh, how many grievous tribulations did the apostles suffer, and the martyrs and confessors and virgins and all the rest who resolved to follow the steps of Christ. For they hated their lives in this world, that they might keep them in life everlasting. Oh, what a strict and self-renouncing life the Holy Fathers of the desert led! What long and grievous temptations did they bear! How often were they harassed by the enemy! What frequent and fervent prayers did they offer up to God! What rigorous abstinence did they practice! What a valiant contest waged they to subdue their imperfections! What purity and straightforwardness of purpose kept they toward God. By day they labored, and much of the night they spent in prayer. Though while they labored, they were far from leaving off mental prayer. They spent all their time profitably. Every hour seemed short to spend with God, and even their necessary bodily refreshment was forgotten in the great sweetness of contemplation. They renounced all riches, dignities, honors, and kindred. They hardly took what was necessary for life. It grieved them to serve the body, even in its necessity. Accordingly, they were poor in earthly things, but very rich in grace and virtues. Prayers for the day. Veni Creator Spiritus. Come, Holy Spirit, Creator, blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, O heavenly gift of God most high, O fount of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, thou finger of God's hand we own. Thou promise of the Father, Thou who dost the tongue with power endow. 
rekindle our senses from above and make our hearts overflow with love and patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide turn from the path of life aside. O may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, of both eternal spirit blessed. Now to the Father and the Son who rose from death be glory given, with thou a holy comforter, henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Ave Maristella. Hail, O star of the ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest. Taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eva's name. Break the sinner's fetters, make our blindness stay, chase all evils from us, for all blessings pray. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us thine infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest of the mild, free from guilt preserve us, meek and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy forevermore. Praise to God the Father, honor to the Son, in the Holy Spirit, be the glory one. Amen. The Magnificat of the Blessed Virgin Mary. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, because he hath regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he that is mighty hath done great things to me, and holy is his name and his mercy is from generation to generations to them that fear him. He hath shown might in his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <laughs>